Hey guys, Jillian Kaplan here from JillianKaplan.com and as you can see, I am still um, in my bed at rehab and I wanted to talk to you today about like overall attitude because um, many of you might know I got hit by a car when I was um, walking in a crosswalk in broad daylight and um, I've had a lot of people compliment me that like my attitude is really good and I have a really positive outlook and um, while I know that to be true, like I feel like I do have a positive outlook, um, it wasn't always like that. I wasn't always a glass half full person. Um, and really changing my mindset and um, making sure that I became a glass half full person has changed my entire outlook on life. And I truthfully don't feel like I would be doing as well in my rehabilitation and getting better if I didn't have this outlook that I have now. So um, how did I get here? Um, you know, what made me want to change from glass half empty to glass half full? And really it was that I didn't feel like I was getting the most out of life. Um, I didn't feel like I was living life to the fullest. I felt like I was, you know, getting dragged down by silly things. I felt like I wasn't um, enjoying as much as I could have. And so I decided to take on this glass half full attitude. And um, I did that by doing a lot of different personal development. Um, and I know that sounds hokey and a lot of people are like, well, what is personal development? What does that even mean? And that is basically um, finding books and webcasts and webinars that help you see things in a different light. Um, so I do not a lot. I mean, five to 10 minutes of personal development every day, sometimes, um, I'll put on a webinar while I'm cooking dinner or something like that. And sometimes I take the time and, you know, read five to 10 minutes of personal development, which is super helpful for me. And, um, I sort of just sink it, sink it all in and, um, understand that there's a lot to be enjoyed and that we are not here for a long time, but we're here for a good time right? Um, some of my favorite books, if you're looking for, you know, kind of a good book are The Happiness Project. Um, the Energy Bus is great. Um, if you're female, I loved Girl Code. It's all about sort of like how to take those crappy girl rumors that can really drag you down and sort of throw them to the web wayside and realize that you're better than that. Um, there's a lot of really, really awesome books. And if you want some suggestions, you're going through something specific, you can feel free to reach out to me and I'll sort of guide you in the right direction. But um, the Energy Bus um, and the Happiness Project and Girl Code are, are really some of my favorites to, to start with if you have no idea where to start. So that's really key. You know, that's really key is getting this, this better attitude and understanding that there's a lot to life and that you can really um, get a lot more out of it if you start seeing the glass half full. Um, keep an open mind. Like I never thought I'd read personal development. I thought that was hokey and weird and only for people with like serious issues. It's not. It's not hokey and weird and it's for everyone. It's for everyone that wants better in their life. So um, I hope you found this helpful. I hope that you understand that personal development isn't just for, you know, that person that is a kook. It's for everyone. And um, that you'll find a book or a webcast or something that you can relate to that will help you start seeing the glass half full. Because if you go through a traumatic event like I'm going through now, I guarantee that that positive outlook will help you recover faster and will help you literally, it's going to help me get back on my feet faster. I'm not going to be walking for six to eight weeks, but I know that when they give me a clear to walk, I'm going to be ready and I'm going to be ready to take on the world um, and make sure that I'm walking faster and better than I was before I had this accident. Um, so I hope you found this helpful. Hope you guys have a great rest of your night and I will talk to you later. Bye.